Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's the 4th of June. Can you believe it? Look at the weather. It's raining, it's cold. I'm off out for a run. The plan was to do an off-road 10k and witness the uh, lovely sunset colours and the countryside of Banbury. But it's so manky that uh, change of plan, 10k on the road. Now, I'm meeting a, a new friend, Sam, who I met out on a walk and uh, he's new to the area. We've kind of been messaging and he wants to get to know a little bit about Banbury and wanted to see a bit of the countryside. Unfortunately today, looks like we're just gonna stick to the roads. So just sheltering underneath this tree so I don't get too wet and cold, but it's only drizzling now really. Uh, once you get going, I guess it'll be fine. I guess it's a little bit uh, difficult to step out the door when it's raining like that. But uh, knowing that uh, you've got someone to run alongside um, kind of gives you a bit more motivation. Uh, as far as pacing goes, I think we'll look at about 730 uh, minute miles, around about 738 minute miles. Maybe boost it along a bit quicker towards the end if we've got uh, the legs. Um, we're reasonably uh, equally paced. Um, and uh, I guess I've been following Sam a little bit on Strava now for a, a few weeks. I've seen a few of his runs and uh, yeah, he's a pretty good runner. So um, I think we should be able to stretch each other's legs a bit. And uh, if, if um, we do this run and uh, it works out okay, I guess it could be a, a good little training uh, routine over the summer. We could uh, do a, a few 10K runs and uh, hopefully uh, the weather will pick up and we'll get some uh, cross-country uh, running on the go because uh, it'd be lovely to run across the fields around sunset time which was kind of the plan today but unfortunately it's not worked out but still we can have a little bit of a run along the roads and uh, Sam can see a little bit of Banbury town which is of course a wonderful place to visit come rain or shine so I'm super lucky that uh, I got given this um, by my brother so uh, as far as um, uh, watches and stuff go I don't really know too much but I guess a lot of it's gonna come down to price hey mate because um, they are pretty expensive yes they are. Uh, we'll go this way um, so I would just go with one that has reasonable features but um, not gonna break your bank and maybe look at um, buying a second-hand one as well True. because uh, if you see any like running groups or anything uh, like there's Cheerwell runners and joggers and probably those guys are always updating their tech yeah so they'll probably have uh, Some suggestion. yeah or or even just have an old one that they wouldn't mind selling you yeah slightly cheaper than buying you but this is a really old Fenix 3 it does heart rate, but um, nothing too fancy. Yeah, I think the biggest thing would be like heart rate and the GPS. Yeah. All the other smart watch features I don't really need. No, just a yeah, just a tracker, really, isn't it? Good to know your heart rate. But I always like Garmin's, but, but it's just what I'm used to, really. Yeah, I think it'd be quite good uh, to measure the sleep as well. Oh, okay. But I'm not really sure how the tech really works for that. Um, me neither. <laughs> I'm not a massive tech guy. But there's Whoop. I know there's a thing called Whoop that monitors your sleep patterns. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a subscription. Oh, okay. Yeah. My friends have it, it looks quite fancy. The whoop thing? Yeah, the whoop. Okay. It's also likely to get out of budget for now as well. Yeah, just stick with something you can afford, upgrade as you can, sort of thing. Yeah. 
it hasn't been really so far. I mean, it's only Monday, but. <laughs> so I went Tuesday. out. Here. Yeah, Tuesday. So Monday gone, yeah. I went out on the bike after work yesterday, snagged a couple of comms. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. A mate of mine from the cycle club, he took it off me like a week ago. Yeah. But there's one hill that has three comms on it. <coughs> and um, he said, oh, I'm sure you'll go and get it back. So I gave it a go yesterday. I got two out of the three back. Okay. It's like a, a long hill, but it has a shorter, steep section on it. Okay. And uh, he's a lot lighter than me. So the, the short, steep part, he was like five seconds up on me. Oh, really? But the sort of really long hill stretch, I uh, managed to get that back. Way, way. Yeah. I'm more of a kind of grind out the hills tight rather than like a snappy, really quick sprint up the hill. Yeah. And what do you prefer, cycling or running? Cycling, mate. Yeah. I'm much more a cyclist. But running, if the weather's naff like this, or like in the winter, yeah. running really does just get the job done. And uh, I enjoy it, but much prefer the cycling. <laughs> and it's better on your, your body. I could, yeah, yeah, mate, I couldn't uh, run more than like two or three times a week or I could cycle every day easy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a nice way to cover all the distance. Yeah, oh, for sure, you can see loads of countryside. It's really great for uh, just exploring the, the countryside yeah. and just getting out for like a period of time you just be on your own look out at the nature forget about your worries or anything yeah. that's on your mind and uh, just be it's like it's like you're in a, a meditation or something yeah. you know sure you'll be like to begin with focusing on all your your worries but after half an hour an hour you're just looking around at one with all the the trees and the hills and Taking a view. Oh it's yeah. great mate, great. That's what I really like. Sure I like racing and going hard, but every now and again just gotta do an easy ride. Just focus on just chilling out, you know. Uh, I mean I'm yet to, uh, when I was younger I used to cycle a little bit more. Okay. Well I'm constantly used to live. Uh, in Twickenham. Yeah, yeah. In London, so like cycling out of London is quite nice. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, I ended up having my race bike stolen. Oh, mate. And then that was, that's my gut, and then I moved to Union, and I never really picked up again. But I think it could be something to pick up in the near future. Yeah. So I always see cyclists around this area. Well, it's, it's popular for cycling around Banbury. The countryside around Banbury it's really beautiful yeah. and we're right on the the Cotswolds so you can get out of town literally like two or three miles out of town and you're in lovely picturesque rolling hills yeah. countryside and like I say you can hit the Cotswolds and go over to like Stow on the Wold, Morton in the Marsh and that's like proper Cotswolds with really lovely views and nice and high up good proper climbs yeah. So yeah, and the uh, Banbury Star Club that I'm in, that's probably got 250 members. Oh, that's that. strong. Yeah, it's a strong club, mate. And that has rides for like beginners, intermediate, racing level, you know, and juniors uh, all the way through. So caters for every type of cyclist. And like, do you have a different bike or do you have like, Mate, I've got so many different bikes. Yeah. I've got, I've got like, I say a winter bike that just use when it's uh, the roads are really mucky and you don't mind getting dirty or wet. And then uh, got like a really nice 
summer training bike and then a summer racing bike right got a time trial bike got the ones with the uh, funny wheels in the back yeah the disc there. wheels like aero bars and you wear like all the skin suits and the pointy helmets yeah. all that jazz so I'm sure I saw a time trial about a week and a half ago yeah so the, they start just up um, by the little Sainsbury's yeah. yeah they'll be like on Wednesday nights yeah yeah, yeah exactly and I saw them coming in they knew well near past grief and actually yeah. yeah so that's where it finishes so the loop goes uh, Warwick Road Camp Lane back on the Stratford Road and finishes around around uh, Roxton Drayton Way and how long is that and uh, so that's a 10 mile route okay. yeah so yeah you'll see loads of cyclists around here uh, yeah I think so something like that you're working in K <laughs> yeah how could you remind of that yeah I don't know I guess uh 5k is three miles I know that yeah I find it quite tricky to run and it's air because you've got that huge descent either way you go yeah a boundary Banbury's just hilly. Like if you're in the centre of town, there's no way out of town other than going up a hill. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder, does that like even out your time? I think you're doing like 5k. <laughs> I think um if it was flat, you'd probably go quicker. Yeah. I think that's true with cycling as well, that uh, you don't necessarily make up the speed on the downhill to compensate for the climb. Yeah. We're tasty now on that mile. Yeah. <laughs> 653, man. Yeah, mine is fair. Oh, well, 490 quick. Yeah, man. I don't really run with other people, so this will be quite an interesting thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've got one friend that we I run regularly with. He's just an Oxford, so okay. we kind of alternate. Is that the guy that came here recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, it's a shame about that route. It is super pretty. Yeah. So we'll do it, right? Yeah. And uh, you'll love it. It's a really, really good route. And you see some lovely countryside. But um, we couldn't run it today. No, I think we'll be quite, quite difficult going up. Oh, I'll be all over the place. Eh? Probably end up in a hospital with <laughs> broken ankles. <laughs> Music when you exercise. Occasionally, when I'm on the bike, I listen to music, but not so much to be honest. I think it's good for like uh, keeping you motivated and keeping the pace up, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I kind of like just being in the nature, you know, listen to the birds. Look around. Yeah. More aware of the surroundings. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, we can cross here. Okay, all good. Thank you. Sometimes I run to work, I run this way. You don't like it? If I run to work. Oh, right, okay. 
I'll run. Oh, yeah. Run this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right at the end. <laughs> Steady, buddy. Yeah. That'd have been us in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather pull in mud than this one. Yeah, true. A bit more forgiving. Can be crossed. Uh, sorry, mate, let's go that way. I'm making this up as I go along, Sam. I mean, we're about halfway now. Yeah. So we got this kind, hang a right, and then uh, start making our way back. Yeah. Up to uh, back up Warrior Road. Say again, sorry? Back up Warrior Road. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. Unfortunately. Still good? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm in there. Yeah, I'm not absolutely done, but pretty much. Uh, across me out here. Let me go that way.
running that climb already. <laughs> yeah, I've been training it for a long time. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, he did get a sunset, Sam. Sunset? But we got the sunset. Yeah man, focus your mind, concentrate on your breathing. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, man. We, <laughs> it's a shame we couldn't get across the field. Yeah. Got the yeah. Oh, sorry, up here. Yeah.
I'm done. <laughs> So, not long now. <laughs> okay. One more K left? Yeah, about 1.2. Keep going, Sam. Go to Saint Reese and come back. Okay. Mate, that was really good. Well Thank done. You. How did you, you do with the time? Uh, just got PR. Yeah, forty-four twenty-two. Nice. Oh, that felt, that was hard there. Mate, I was just hanging on the yeah. uh, that Warwick Road ascent. Yeah. I'd already clocked half a mile, so... Oh, coming on the way. Coming on the way, so oh, nice. when I ticked over, I was just hanging. Yeah. And I, I almost binned it at about 5.7 miles, and that's when I started to drop back. And I thought, okay, just keep going the last half mile. Oh, uh, mate. Yeah. Well, 6.2. 6.2, nice. Uh, so I finished that and I was like, just go on ahead, mate. No, no worries at all. Yeah. I was, um, I think by the time we got to just past work grid, yeah. I still had maybe 1.8 left. Yeah. So there's still quite a while yeah. to go. Okay. You just came along the road here? Yeah, yeah, so I came here and then I just turned in. Okay, on just the right. to tick it off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that was great fun. Thank you so much. No worries. Yeah, yeah, man. Great. We can do it again. Yeah, uh, sure. My schedule at the moment is pretty busy. <laughs> oh, that was great fun. I've caught my breath back a bit now, man. I was blowing towards the end of that one. But uh, yeah, Sam kept going. Did like a 44 minute uh, 10K. I think he was happy with that, uh, his PB. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get out to be across the fields for the sunset, but not been too bad. Can't see it 100% from here, but there is some uh, good colors up there. Um, <coughs> good run, and uh, yeah, the last half mile that was uh, me just really suffering and trying to just keep my breath going and uh, basically just trying to hold on as much as I could. And I think if I wasn't uh, with Sam, I would have basically called it a day. But uh, well done, Sam, good run, and uh, hopefully, we'll do a similar kind of thing. Um, on a regular slot 
and actually get out across the fields a bit more um so anyway that was it for that vlog thanks for watching guys and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and see you again another time bye bye ah, let's get back home and have some dinner